How's it going folks? Just a little bit of a uh, quick update video on the aquaponics and what I've been up to this week. Uh, one job I did do, well you we saw that last week planning out a few bits and pieces, but I've put up a little bit of a shade cover over the top here. Just a little makeshift jobby. A lot of the lettuce was struggling. You might be able to see some burnt tips there. So I thought that was the best thing to do. It's a little 30% shade cloth, so it won't take too much of the sting out. But as you can see at the moment, it is shading them a bit. Um, we really need to hook into those green onions as well. Kerry uses um, one or two of them in her bagolgi when she makes up a batch. So we'll use um, at least two of them in there this week. Uh, the other herbs haven't been planted out yet. I've just been flat out this week. Um, so we've got the sage and some basil to go out. And these poor bok choy are the ones that I showed you last week that still haven't been planted out. You might be able to make out a little caterpillar on there. Well, these guys are salvageable and I will be putting them in the bed that I just cleaned out over there. I'll give you a look at that in a tick. So that will be happening and not now because it's going to be a very warm day. I think I might do it um, in the afternoon if we get home in time. Bianca's got a friend with her party, so we're off there today. And yeah, hopefully this afternoon will be cool enough for me to plant them out there. There is a fresh uh, batch of bok choy uh, to make up for the ones that are a little bit of a dud. And with these ones here, we're actually going to treat them differently. We're going to eat them from the outside in like a pick and come again. We're not actually going to chop them off whole. A few we might, just to thin them out. But yeah, we're going to try the pick and come again method. I like you do with a lot of your lettuces like these guys here. Um, blooming cabbage butterflies, they've been everywhere. Um, there's been an influx of them, probably because I left this open for a little while. Uh, Jack's been having a ball chasing him around the backyard, so that's fun to watch. Back to the system. Um, that's what's going out here this afternoon. It's actually going out in that bed there. I have had a few issues with the pH, but I'll show you the fish first. Oh, yeah, they want some more food, as you can see by the uh, little bit of a sheen on the surface. They've already been fed this morning and it tends to get a bit of a film that generally disappears after a little while. Uh, the um, bullying behaviour is pretty much well, all but gone from what we've seen. No more damage on the fish. The pH actually came down a fair bit this week. There we go, 6.3. It was sitting at 6.4 earlier. Um, what's basically happened is the fish have started to feed a lot more because the temperature's warmed up and more feed means more ammonia in the system and part of the bacteria's requirements for converting that ammonia through to nitrate is a carbon source so that's why we put carbonates in there um, so yeah they've basically been chewing the carbonates which lowers the ph i did just dose up with some potassium bicarbonate um, put a couple of scoops and some water and delivered it directly into the grow bed so hopefully um, that should be um, fixing or altering the pH by this afternoon. We should see a little bit of an upward swing. Bye bye fishies, we'll go around this side, give you a bit of a look at how the system is going. The chilies, these are the Arhe Amarillos, and as you can see, we're starting to get some buds on there, small fruit there, and yeah, we've got three fruit over there, so I will be bagging them up because um, the Queensland fruit fly will be around very soon. And as soon as they turn colour, they'll probably try and sting those guys. Uh, this plant here, I think this is its third year, uh, three-year-old plant. And as you can see from the base, she's looking a little bit gnarly. Um, a little, yeah, not quite rotten on this side yet, but we've got a growth coming up there that we've kept. And there is a volunteer over there. I'll give you a bit of a closer look. Uh, basically one from uh, sprouted from a seed from a fruit that has dropped and we have a load of uh, volunteer basil that has fallen down from the deck so probably didn't need that little um, um, herb pack one and we do have a little ginger sprout coming up there oh look there's another ginger sprout there under the, that romaine um, these romains actually we're letting them or cause um, for you Aussies uh, I'm going to let them go to flower and we're going to save some seeds from them because they did fairly well we also have our resident spider here. So there's actually a, a number of spiders in this web. Uh, there's a little one just there. I don't know if you can make him out. A nice big one up there in one of her sheds and a few other small ones in there. So um, I was going to pull up this cloth this morning to clean out the bed, but I could work around it. I prefer to leave these spiders there. But the aloe vera really does need to come out. I need to get that out of here because it's just taking up viable real estate. 
and we don't use it all that much. We got aloe vera growing around the place. Around this side here, we have the Chinese red amaranth. This one here is the reason why I pulled the one out from the bed last week that was looking pretty scraggly. This one is a beautiful specimen of the plant. So we're going to let this one go and collect seeds from it. Uh, the plan is this week, we're going to use some of the greens from this to make a palak, uh, basically a leafy green curry with some halloumi cheese and maybe some chicken, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so not a true palak, but anyway, a, a green Indian style curry and some of that will go in there uh, the aloe vera and hoen knock and we're also going to be adding in some of this warrigal greens it's just absolutely taken off um, so there's only one plant and it really does need to be cut back before we start to lose some of these um, bits of greenery uh, to pests not that much eats these guys pretty much all just the um, uh, grasshoppers and that's about it the odd caterpillar here and there the broccoli has finally been removed from this bed here so what I've done is pretty much all pulled them out and any root mass that I couldn't get all the clay out of going to let these roots dry out and so it just makes it easier for the clay um, to get out of there a lot of the time these root balls let's see if we can find some maybe not uh, they have uh, compost worms in there I did find one in there when I was pulling it out um, but yeah I I like to think that uh, give the worms a fighting chance and let them go back down into the grow bed, let them stay in the system if we can, because they will process any other roots that were left in there, because as you can see, there are roots left in their bed. Uh, I also did find a very small tiny slug while I was um, cleaning this out. I saw no large ones, so I am thinking I'm going to have to flood this bed soon, uh, just trying to keep them under control. Over here we have our mushroom herb from Papua New Guinea. It is slowly starting to bounce back because obviously it comes from a tropical environment. I'm thinking I need to cut it back though just because it is looking a little bit scraggly. Over there we have the red vein sorrel, nice little lemony zing. I thought I'd actually lost that until I saw it the other week. So pretty chuffed that that's still there. And this oregano or oregano needs to um, have all the dead bits taken off of it and maybe um, cut back just back to that corner again as well just to open up some real estate and yeah down the bottom here we have a little lettuce and this lettuce here is a volunteer and seems as it's going so well even though it is very warm at the moment um, I'm thinking of letting it go to seed and then we'll save some seed from that and I just noticed I have a leak here I didn't notice that earlier where's that coming from oh I moved this around when I did the um, potassium b-roll earlier so the water was coming out of the nozzle so there you go folks just be careful when you play with bits and pieces because you can cause little leaks it could turn into a disaster so now a quick update on the other bits and pieces going on I'm still doing the change of studios course and due to doing that course I know that this will probably affect retention time um, so yeah for you folks who follow us and watch all our videos bit of an update on what's going on here uh, still doing the course Monday uh, sorry Wednesday and Friday uh, so that's chewing up half a day sort of on Wednesday and um, yeah taking a little bit of time on Friday but it's absolutely fantastic learning lots there uh, it's actually good that it's happening this time of year because I see a big drop off in the views because most folks who follow me do come from the northern hemisphere so while they're in their fall and winter the fall the the ads are basically aren't placed on my videos because people don't watch it so YouTube don't promote it it's just the way YouTube works um, they're a business they're trying to make money so a smaller channel like mine is basically yeah not promoted as much I'm not upset about it it's just a fact of life when it comes to YouTube I am spending the time though the downtime um, creating more hero content as I've learned it's called uh, basically the stuff that you folks really want that educates you on the aquaponics running it uh, little walk arounds like today do give you little gems here and there but the other stuff um, things on biofiltration uh, plants and what plants need and require what's the best plants to start off for you beginners those sorts of videos will be coming probably January February when my views start to go back up because you folks start in in the northern hemisphere start looking into starting aquaponic systems and gardenings and that sort of thing so uh, I'll be holding off until then for that uh, those bigger videos I'm still working on the guide I've got another uh, PDF download module to add to that I actually had a meeting with retrieve this week oh the guide by the way aquaponics beginners guide 1995 US link down below and above you can also gift it to relatives for Christmas they've actually approached me and asked me about building a community there they've seen how 
how many people are asking me questions um, through the advice tab and they've suggested that I might, I might pay for me to look at starting a community there. Um, if that happens, I might wind down some of the other communities elsewhere online and ask people to move over. If they don't, thank you very much for your support. I've already appreciated all the help you've been able to give us. Um, but yeah, try and consolidate where all my stuff is online just to make it a lot easier. Uh, bring it all into one spot so I'm not checking a half a dozen different websites every day. So um, oh, we'll see how that goes. Bianca and I need to suss it out fully yet. Also too, I have a sale on the Queensland Nutbusters, $5 off with a discount, five bob off that you enter in at checkout. Uh, there's a little short that I'll link up there that you can suss out if you want to have a look at that that I posted the other day. Uh, it's only for the Nutcrackers only. Um, so yeah, $5 off every order with Nutcrackers in it. Uh, suss it out. There's also other aquaponic stuff. I've got to stop doing this, I think. Other aquaponic stuff over on the website as well. I forgot to mention, tick-wise, I'm feeling a lot better, folks. Uh, well and truly on the men, so I've been able to um, hook in and do a few different bits and pieces around the place. Uh, one of those projects is refurbishing an old DIY safe uh, that a family member made up, just making it look a little bit prettier. New paint job and lining it with carpet to protect the goodies that will be inside it. Um, so that's taken a lot of my time this week as well. But anyway, I will pretty much will leave it there. I would like to thank you all for coming along if you've stuck around this far in the video and giving us a thumbs up and maybe leaving a comment down below, at least saying g'day. I'd really appreciate it. So with the algorithm, but I'll let you good folks go. I've got to get ready for a family adventure this afternoon. So take it easy guys and happy growing.